Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. I've got 29 Bolos coming your eye. Come in your eye. Come in your way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I was going to put in broadcast. You know what? Whatever. I'm just going to leave the blooper. I can't talk tonight. Anyway, I've got 29 Bolos coming your way. Um, bread and butter Bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can buy low and sell for a decent profit. Most of these items sold for $25 or less. It's only 1130 and I'm like, I can't talk. Um, so yeah, bread and butter. Uh, these are my what solds from eBay. And I, the reason I was laughing when I started, I'm like, I'm just going to throw my hat on backwards. You know, like I'm trying to like do all these different things because my roots are getting long and I'm sporting the roots, but you know, I'm trying to have a little fun with it. So I'm going to wear the hat backwards. It's kind of funny. It doesn't, it's not really like a wear the hat backwards type of hat, but we're going to roll with it. Okay. So let's get started with some bolos here. Um, the first item. And this one's a fun one. I'm wondering if I would have made more if I would have separated them. So um, screen shares up. Uh, Disney Store Plush. And one thing when I started selling plush, I asked Flippin' Hippos, what do I look for? And she said, Disney Store. So uh, right here on the foot it says Disney Store. So I picked these up at a garage sale. I think I paid like a buck total, maybe a buck each. But I sold these for $25 plus shipping. So I was glad they found a nice little home. The next item is this butterfly cuff. This came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 350 pound bulk buy. Um, it's a cute little cuff. I probably could have got more for it, but somebody offered me 15 and I countered at 20. And then I'm like, you know what? Just take the $15. So I messaged them and I said, hey, if you want a counter, I'll take your $15. So um, they they bought it and they uh, had great feedback. So that was awesome. I'm glad it went to a, a good home, but it's super, super cute. Never seen anything like it. It's really cute. I don't know what it's made of, but the next item is. OK, so this is one of those items where I'm like, should I even list this? I just don't know. Like it came free with a bunch, like a bulk buy and it was just in there and I'm like, eh. So it's got a little chip on this one, but I have like next to nothing in it and I listed them and these things sold super fast. Now, was it a huge money item? No, but it took me like no time at all to list. It did take me a little bit longer to ship because I bubble wrapped each one and you know, I figured if somebody's want buying it, they even if it's an $11 sale, they still want it to arrive undamaged other than the damage that was already there. So it sold for $11 plus shipping and their drawer pulls, knobs, little knobs. Uh, the next item are these Dakota jeans. And the reason I'm showing you guys this listing is because I sold it for $13 and 82 cents. I either paid, I think I paid $3 for these at a discount store. This listing is like, I want to say probably five, six, seven years old. Uh, I've talked to you guys about it before. I don't end my listings ever. I just wait until they sell. And I'm going to say this month, I have had a, quite a few old items sell that I've still made a profit on. Now, was it a big profit? No, but it's a great bread and butter item. So, and I know people have different views on that, but I just don't have time to pull things. And I know that everything eventually sells. So it's just however you want to run your business. That's up to you. But I just want to show you that this item was very old and it still sold. So I bought a miss, not a mystery box. I'm sorry. I bought a $25 box off of Donatella Bodolino's YouTube auction. It was a vintage box. Nobody bid against me. I have no idea why it was $25 with free shipping. I have a video on it. Go check it out. It's amazing what I got. Um, but she gave me like a little mystery jar of jewelry that came in the box. And I knew I was going to get it, but these were in there. And again, you guys, I paid $25 for the whole box, free shipping. And I sold this item for 10 bucks uh, plus shipping. And they're Napier earrings and they're screw back. And I got really good feedback. I think a guy bought them for his wife and he said his wife loved them. So I was really happy that they found a nice home. 
But uh, you guys should go check out that video and see what I got in this box. I have sold so many items, but this is just another item. So bread and butter, but awesome. And there was a nice chunk of jewelry in that bag. I listed it all, even like the bread and butter items. I and even the stuff like that I wasn't sure if it would sell. I listed every single thing in the box and I have been surprised. Like there was a book in there and I don't do a lot of books and it sold. There was this little doll and it sold. I mean, the things that I wasn't gonna list that I normally wouldn't buy that were just kind of thrown in there. Like I bought it for the vintage items. Um, like I sold a pair of eyeglasses that were in there for 40 some bucks, I think. So it was a really good box. Uh, this Charlie Brown tree I picked up for a buck at a garage sale. It's super cute. I sold it for $26.40 plus shipping. How cute is that? Super cute. Um, the next item is these three bangled bracelets. This was not my bulk buy. This was just jewelry that I picked up at a garage sale. Sold it for $9.50 plus shipping. Again, a nice bread and butter item. And nothing fancy, just something somebody wanted. All right, these Jesse James beads. I picked these up in a lot of beads and the beads have been selling like crazy. i uh, guessing people are in lockdown so um, or stay at home order, whatever you wanna call it. These sold for $9.50 plus shipping. The next item is this banana in pajamas. And I have a little funny story about this. So I accidentally almost shipped this guy instead of another one. And I intercepted it at the post office. Like I called the post office. I'm like, have my packages shipped? And they're like, no. So I went down and got it. Otherwise I wouldn't have this sale. It would be like to someone else who was opening a claim because I shipped them the wrong item. I think it was the bear, the little bear down here that I sold the green shirt. Anyhow, I sold this banana for $23.76 plus shipping. It's called Bananas in Pajamas. I picked this up at a garage sale. I think they were 50 cents each. The next item is this another very weird item that I was just like, I want to try it. This was super long tail. Took forever to sell. So when somebody made me an offer for $2 plus shipping, I was like, yes, see you later. It's an Elworth, Ellsworth elephant letter. And it's just like, I don't know if it's out of like a, I don't know what it is. It says, Dear Sandy. I, I, I don't know um, if it's like some sort of advertisement. I don't know. It's cute. It's got elephants. Maybe somebody bought it for like the graphics. I have no idea. But for some weird reason, I listed it probably over a year ago. But it sold for $2 plus shipping. I'm not saying do this by any means. I just wanted to share it with you because I thought it was a fun story. The next item are these baby fat jeans. I picked these up at a garage sale. I want to say I paid 50 cents or a dollar for them. Took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. The next item is this pop socket. This came from my uh, Toys R Us haul from when they were going out of business. I had about $1.50 in it. I sold it for $11.87 plus shipping. Pac-Man folder. I bought a bunch of vintage folders. Uh, some of them do better than others. This one wasn't in great shape. So I went ahead and took a best offer of six plus shipping. Happy to see it go. This little Walt Disney trading pen, I probably had 50 cents or less in it. I bulk buy at a garage sale of a bunch of Disney pens. I sold it for $20 plus shipping. All right. These are Leapster games. And I I think I showed you another one. This was a bulk buy at a garage sale last summer. It's been sitting in my money pile waiting to be listed. I sold these for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. So it went for full asking price. All right, this was a Zoids. Um, it's like a building model kit. I don't know exactly what it is. I didn't know if it was complete. It was all in a bag. So I just put what it said and said replacement parts because I didn't know and I didn't want to figure it out. So maybe it's all there, maybe it's not, but it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, this guy, and I've sold a street shark before, but this came from a garage sale. It was a huge bulk buy. I bought so much stuff from this garage sale and I have done really, really well. It was a great sale. Um, 
$26.40 for this guide plus shipping. And he sold within a day. And I have less than a dollar in him. All right, this one I've had for a little while, um, and I was really happy that it sold. Uh, the person bought two of them, and their total came to $20.06 plus shipping. And I just, uh, it tells, I mean, it's new, it's new old stock. But yeah, patches, airborne rigor. The next item, oh, I'm thinking about the beginning of the video. Maybe I should have restarted. Uh, what a blooper that was. I know Becky on Poshmark, at the end of every video, she has bloopers. And I don't edit my videos, so I can't, like, go in and add my bloopers to the end. So you guys get my blooper first thing. But if you guys are not subscribed to Becky on Poshmark, she is amazing. Definitely go check out her channel. So these are little vintage Cabbage Patch doll shoes. Super cute from 97. Now, the funny thing is, is I don't know if, like, the paint came off or if it's a manufacturer's defect or what's going on, but they don't match. So anyway, I sold them for $13.20 plus shipping. And I think that might have went international. I can't remember. The next item is this Peter Rabbit and Friends. This came from a thrift store. I want to say I paid $2 for them. Sold this for $19.36 plus shipping. It's just like a little kid's uh, set. It's a plastic bowl, cup, and plate. Another Imaginext from that garage sale where I bought all the leapfrog stuff is probably a dollar or less. I sold this one for $12 plus shipping. This is a vintage Tressy doll outfit and it sold for $8.80 plus shipping. Garage sale, bulk buy, probably had pennies in it. All right, so you guys know about my money pile of clothing that I have. Well, there was one night where I was like, I just need to list all these Lane Bryant pants. And I had a bunch of camo pants like these and another like orange multicolor print. And I am almost sold out of these. I have sold five pair here and I think a couple pair on Posh. And I sold them for $25.00 plus shipping. So there is definitely money to be made with clothing. I just don't want to do it. So I need to get those clothes listed. The next item is this brawl. This was a retail arbitrage. I actually um, picked it up online and I sold this for $24 plus shipping. I'm going to say I was all in probably with tax and everything and shipping probably for about $8. So you're not going to make as much with retail arbitrage, but I sold 67 of them. So it all adds up. The next item is, and that was a brawl, plus size brawl, Playmates the Simpsons. This was another Simpsons item. I sold this for $15 plus shipping. All right, 12 days of Christmas. I picked up a bunch of these. They're, uh, I did not have a complete set. There were multiples of some of them. So what I decided to do was to list them at $15 with free shipping. I took a best offer. Oh, nope, I'm sorry. They bought this full asking price of $13.50. I can ship this first class. It is a major bread and butter item, but it was like considered Christmas and I think it was 90% off. So I probably have like 10 cents in this. So I probably made five, six bucks, something like that, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not the greatest buy. I was hoping like I had a complete set and it was going to be like a bolo, but you know, it turned into bread and butter. That's okay. Okay. Another very, very super old listing. I picked this up at a, um, it was either TJ Maxx. I think it was TJ Maxx, but I usually pick things up for like a buck or two. It's not a brand I really know, but it's a cute little shirt. I took a best offer of $10, just showing you again that old items do sell. And I still am making a profit, even though they're very old listings. The next item is this vintage boy and girl kissing Christmas angel figurines. Super, super cute. Came from a thrift store. I want to say it was $2 or $2.50 for the set. And I sold those for $26.40 plus shipping. This little vintage red Barbie purse came with a bulk buy of Barbie items. I sold this for $7.25 plus shipping. And this person went back and forth, back and forth with me with an offer. And I really felt like I had it priced pretty, 
pretty competitively because it's made in Japan. It's definitely vintage. So I finally settled at $7.25. So those are my 29 bread and butter bolo videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at the next video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you made it this far, comment, I made it to the end. Thanks for watching.